And uh, Dr. Collins, just for the record, or if you know offhand, you, you mentioned the success rate has declined over 30 years. What, what about the absolute number of grants? Has that gone down too, or is that up? The absolute number of grants that we fund versus those that we receive, it's been bouncing around, but it's under 10,000 now for new and competing grants. 30 grant. years ago it was what? 30 years ago, it, well, I'd have to get you the number well, for the Well, that's what I was trying to compare that with the success rate. I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. The, the biomedical research community has grown in that time right. table. I can get you the specific It'd number. be interesting to see that, but thanks to both of you. Dr. Hamburg, thank you for being here. And, thank you. Uh, uh, it's very important that, that, that you were here, and we thank you for your six years of, of service at, at uh, FDA. And I hope you'll accept our invitation to stay in touch with us over the, or especially over the next year as we work on these issues. Dr. Collins, we, we're going to stay in, you're going to still be here. And I we're, am. We're going, to, <laughs> we're going to stay in close touch with uh, you. This has been a good conversation, and the fact that the two of you were here helps signal the importance of it, the attendance of the senators. Of course, by 2017, we'll be in the midst of the user fee discussion, but the issues that we intend to get in to hear are different from those. And, and what I would say to those in your agencies and to the administration is, is uh, this is a train that's on a track to get to the station. It's going to get somewhere. Some of us are on the Appropriations Committee, and we'll be working on the sequestration of funding levels. That's one thing that we can do. But there's also the question, as I mentioned, of that 42% administrative cost. If there's some things that we need to do, some laws we need to change, some other agencies, and if we can, you know, if you could get that from 42 to 32, that's that's three billion dollars at uh, one time. So uh, there's the question of reallocation. There are questions of other obstacles that you've run into that you would say, uh, if you could change that, that would make our life better. This is in no way trying to diminish the accomplishments of the FDA or the NIH over the last few years is to say we're in this exciting era. Uh, the House, the President, the Senate are all headed in the same direction. We'd like to get there within a year or so, and, and we'd like to have your help in making sure we do that, that we do that well. This is, an op this is an unusual opportunity to get a result in a town that doesn't that often see the President and the Republican Congress on the same train headed in the same direction toward an important station. So, so I think by your being here, you helped to emphasize that. We look forward to continuing our discussion. The hearing record will remain open for 10 days. Members may submit additional information for the record within that time if they would like. Thank you for being here today. The committee will stand adjourned.